Hello, bit of a random departure from our usual channel programming. I have got a video tutorial for you today. Reason being, a few months back I threw up a guide on how to livestream to Twitch TV from your Macintosh. You'd think it'd be simple, it bloody isn't. Uh, I spent hours researching it and came across so many headaches and not a lot of useful information online, so I threw up that video just to try and save a couple of people some time. Turns out 15,000 people surfed on in with similar problems, so I felt that was productive. As such, today we're going to do a similarly confusing issue, and that is how to schedule a YouTube live event with a proper live chat and get the URL for it ahead of time that you can share on social media. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously this video is aimed at fellow YouTubers. If you don't make videos yourself, don't worry, you can still carry on watching this video. You just pay attention down in the bottom corner where I'll throw up a video of my cat playing with catnip. So enjoy that while us YouTubers talk. Now do stick with me. If you've surfed on in at random, it's probably because you found the whole Google Plus and YouTube integration and the Hangouts on Air system to be rather confusing. That, my friend, is because it is. So I do need to do a bit of background explanation on the fundamentals first before I can give you the solution. But the solution is rather elegant and it works quite well once you've got your head around it. I will also hit up on how to live stream game footage and do Let's Plays live because that is a possibility. Uh, it's not something that's done commonly, but you can do it. I'll explain that briefly when the time comes. Firstly, here we are in Google+. Now, Hangouts on Air are broadcast live to a live audience. Uh, you can have invitees to the Hangout, so people actually participating in the video call, if you will, and then there's the people watching it, and these go out live on your YouTube channel. So let's head on down here to the Hangouts section, and uh, there's, there's various ways of starting a Hangout. This isn't the best one. I just need to show you this because then it'll kind of put into context the right way to do it. So we've got various things here. Let's just have a little look at, at this chap. And if we head to the YouTube watch page on this one. Ah, computer running rather slow. So let's head to the YouTube watch page and you'll see here... What are they up to? Man, there is some weird stuff on YouTube. Anyway, so this guy's live. Don't know what he's up to. And you'll see here they've got comments. It acts just as a, a normal YouTube video, which isn't, you know, it isn't kind of efficient or an elegant way of having a live chat room. You know, you can type comments in, but people have to refresh the page to see the comments, and so so does the person conducting the call which isn't useful when you try to live stream and keep an eye on the chat. So we want to avoid that. So that's one problem we need to solve. The other and perhaps bigger issue that you're probably wondering about is how do you know where you're going to be broadcasting before you hit start broadcast? Obviously it'd be good to have a YouTube link that you can share with all your fans and followers way ahead of time. Uh, you know, hours or even days before the event. It's no good starting a live stream, then getting the link, and while you're live, scrabbling around and posting this link all over social media. So that's a big issue. And to explore this one, I need to show you the rather broken, stupid, stupid way that Google wants you to do it. So you'll see this button all over the Hangouts tab, Start a Hangout on Air. See, you would click that, you'd think, intuitively. There we go, right, so let's just go test, tell people what it's about. It's a test, ignore it. And here you can schedule it, that's all well and good. So later, that's all fine. And bear in mind that this is the audience, these are the people invited to view it, not the people that are going to be pulled into your live stream and chatting. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, I'm just gonna invite myself. And you hit share. Da, da, da. There we go, and it'll take you to the event page. So this is all fine and dandy. At this point you may be wondering, Zeke, what's the problem? You know, you've got a page set up here. You've got uh, the preview window, that, and that's where we'll be going live. We've got a link up there that uh, we can share with people. It's got a chat thing if anyone wants to say anything. You know, it, doesn't that suffice? 
Well, not really, because it then gets confusing as to whether people are supposed to be watching it here. Uh, you can grab the YouTube live URL by obviously clicking on that, and then you get the watch page. It's got a little nice, nice little countdown timer, all well and good, but you'll notice we still got this broken comment system. It also creates the problem where people don't know whether they're supposed to be commenting here or over here, and it's all a bit of a mess. One word of warning, I will say, is never turn on this piece of sh It's <laughs> Seriously, you turn that on and you are opening up the Hurt Locker, my friends. It's the worst questions app I've ever seen, and it just adds an extra level of confusion to the whole proceedings, so... Never, ever hit that. Uh, I won't go into what's wrong about it, just trust me on this one. So, you know, this is sufficient for most people. If you were to hit start there, it will take you to the Google Hangouts. Oh god, there's my ugly mug. Ugh. I wasn't expecting to be on camera. No, my face! So anyway, so uh, yeah, this is the YouTube watch page. Um, you can hit start broadcast. Um, you can... You know, there's various plugins you can you can get for managing comments across all the different streams, but that doesn't make it any less confusing for people. You can add in you know the YouTube watch page or the Google Plus uh, event page there if you want, and it'll collate them all. But yeah, it is a bit of a mess. Let's come out of that. So so that's that. You know, it's rudimentary, but it doesn't solve the chat issue, and it it's confusing where people are supposed to be watching and commenting. So, that's the way you're supposed to do it. Here's the way I would do it. So instead of putting the cart before the horse, what I like to do is set up the live video first via YouTube and then create an event around it. And here's what you need to do. Go to Video Manager in your channel. Uh, I will point out that you might want to run this video in the highest resolution you can just so you can see the text and details. Um, and once you're in Video Manager, on the left-hand side, you've got Live Events. Click on that. Another note, I'll point out that previously you could only do this if you had 5,000 subscribers. I don't know what the restrictions are now. I've got less than 1,000, so I think anyone can do this. But if you don't see that, you might not have the capability on your channel. I don't know what the rules are. They're constantly changing. So anyway, Live Events, schedule a new event, and I'm literally going to do this because I need to set up a new event. Um, and the beauty of this is you can do your descriptions and everything like that ahead of time. So I'm just going to cut forward a bit in the video and fill this out. Bear with me one second. Right, so here we are. You can see I've uh, popped in a little title there, the description, so people know what's going on, and all my tags. I've set it to public, obviously, I want people to see it. I've also put in a little message to my subscribers. Because the beauty with this method is the live stream video will um, be scheduled and it will appear in your subscribers' subscription feeds, so that is a bonus. Uh, advanced settings. Don't worry about them. Don't touch them, don't look at them, don't talk to them. Uh, monetization, you can do what you want. I, I turn mine off. And, now, gamers, listen up! This is how you stream uh, Let's Plays live to YouTube. Hit Custom, and you get more encoding options. If you hit that, it will uh, give you... Uh, you can hit Learn More, and it'll give you more information. Basically, much like Twitch, that is where you set up your third-party encoder. So, your, your, your Flash Media Live encoder, your XSplit, things like that. Um, so that's how you stream at a decent frame rate. I've not played with it personally myself, so I don't know how effective it is, but that's how you would do it. Uh, for us, we're just going to do quick, which takes you to the, the inbuilt Hangouts on Air software, which, for all its faults, it is easy to set up and quite elegant once you get over this bit. So, looking good. Just need to schedule it now. And I am doing this... I've forgotten what time Gameplay Jenny said. Uh, 8.30. You can add an end time if you want. I'm not going to bother. There we go. Create event. That's badly titled, but... Uh, there we are. If you, if you do this, you can see... We've got a watch page. 
Little countdown timer, nice, love it. And best of all, we have now got a live chat. As far as I know, this way around of doing it is the only way to get this going. So if people type a message in there, it, it'll pop up. Um, and, and that'll refresh automatically. It, sometimes you need to manually refresh, but excellent. And that will be preserved for all time. And then when you end this video and this live stream later on this evening, all the comments that are here will be translated into YouTube watch comments, so they'll appear down here, just as normal comments on a video. Excellent. So that's how you do that. So, that is that. If you don't care one whit about Google+, you're good to go, you're done here. You can grab that link, the YouTube link, that'll stay where it is, you can post on Facebook or Twitter, whatever. Um, stick around if you want to know how to create an event around this on Google+, which I find is a really useful way of getting RSVPs and generating uh, discussion ahead of time. Uh, so in order to do that, what we do, go to Google+, Profile, Events. Don't plan a hangout. No, my friends, you've already done that. Just create an event and you pop in the title there. Let me just set up this because I want to change this custom graphic that I've got made. One second. Okay, here we go. So I've changed that image. If you want to make your own custom graphic for these events things, it's a very specific resolution. You have to look it up. Uh, anyway, otherwise I've done the title, the description. Just need to change the start time to accurately reflect what time the video is going to start. Uh, and location, I have popped in... Where are we? I have popped in the YouTube URL there. It disappears when you click away for some reason, but it does come up anyway. Um, and I've also popped it just down there in the description in case people miss it. Now finally, this is another Google problem. I can... if you, So you want to invite public, right? Invite. Now it'll take you to the event page, looking good, looking good. Unfortunately, there's no guests, there's no people invited despite hitting public. I think it appears in their stream and anyone can view this page because we've set it that way, but it's not actually sent an invite out as such to people. So you think, oh, that's no problem, invite more. And you've got your circle, so I go friends and family. Select this circle, select that circle, invite. Do you want to invite 19 people? Yes, I do. And it's thinking about it. Good. And okay, that one works fine. Now, let us assume I want to invite everyone in my gaming circle. Select this circle, invite. Now, wait for it. Something's going to go. Could not send invitations. So you think, why is that? Is it a case of I'm inviting too many people? That would make sense. No. At random, some people will trip the, the switch. and You can't invite certain people. Um, and there's no way of knowing which ones they are. So you have to go through everyone manually. Invite those. So that's worked. Th those people are fine. Let's carry on inviting more people in small segments from the gaming circle. Those folks will do. Could not send invitations. And here's the problem. You've got to figure out, and it'll only be one person out of those nine I tried to invite, uh, which one is flipping the switch. There's no rhyme nor reason to it. These people haven't blocked me. We've got each other in circles. Uh, it's just random. So can I invite these six people? No. So it's someone in that six. And you can imagine how frustrating this is. I've googled the issue, it's a problem in the system, they haven't fixed it, and it's been going on forever. So sort it out, Google! It's really annoying having to go through this manually. If you're running into the same problem, one thing I have done is I figured out who is invitable from last time. Select this circle, invite 73 people. Oh, okay, and some of those. Even though they were fine last time, you can't invite them this time. Ah! Anyway, so that's one problem you'll come across. But, putting that to one side, everything else is fine and dandy. You'll collect RSVPs. We've got Emily King, has already said, maybe. All looking good. You've just got to figure out this thing and figure out who you can and can't invite. 
Otherwise, because it's set to public, I can share this invite page and random people who aren't invited can say whether they're going to join or not. So you can share this out on Twitter or whatever. And when the time comes to start the Hangout on Air, all you need to do is hit Start Hangout on Air. This is over at the Live Events section of your YouTube account under Video Manager. Uh, all your live events will be listed here. We've only got one. Hit that. Oh god, my face is going to come up again. And it's gone. Oh, and it's back. Hello. And uh, you can do a screen share. I'm going to create an infinite loop now by doing this, but uh, select which desktop you want to do. Hey, infinity! Um, and this is how you would kind of stream things like game footage and stuff using um, just the built-in Hangout on Air program. Like I say, it's a bit laggy, but, you know, it's a possibility. How do I turn this off? Right, turn that off. Yeah, uh, and again, you've got various things there. And then as soon as you hit Start Broadcast, which I'm not going to do... I'll just make sure you're not muted or anything as well. Uh, you'd hit Start Broadcast, and then you would appear there. Simple as that. Anyway, there we go. We've got our YouTube watch page all up and running with a live chat, and we've set up an event in Google Plus to direct people towards it. So have fun doing that. I've been Z Kidden. Add me to your circles if you want, and invite me to your own live stream event. I'd love to come along. Otherwise, if you've surfed in at random and don't really know who I am, do poke around this channel. Uh, we do a lot of fun stuff here. Maybe you'll enjoy it and consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board. Otherwise, you can add me at Iron Man Mode. Lastly, if you've got any questions about any of this, leave them in the comments below. But I would urge you just to have a quick flick through the comments just to make sure I haven't already answered your question. Uh, I remember on the Mac live streaming tutorial, uh, a, lo a lot of the same question kept coming up that I kept answering over and over and over again. So there's that. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Finally, if this has been of help to you, I hope you'd consider supporting this channel. Um, we've got a link there uh, where you can get discount games and merchandise and uh, maybe leave me a tip if, if this has been useful. And I hope it has. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Zekidden. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Cheerio!